well. I suppose we could do the windows in here. The window, I've been just using this crystal clear ship light at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. That's what these ones were done with. Oh, shake it. Does it say shake? Shit. Don't shake. Okay, don't shake it up. Shit. Oh. If you do shake it up, I don't know if it'll matter. No, I know it matters. You get bu air bubbles. Yeah, don't shake it up. Oh, we got lots. We got lots happening now. Shit. This stuff's pretty freaking runny, man. We'll put on a lot. Oh, there's a trick for doing that. I should have showed you it. It's too late. Next time. Na, 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 na. Let it dry. Let it dry, be happy with it. Don't worry, be happy. Those bottom ones don't have enough. I gotta touch it. No, you'll fuck it up. Fuck. But I'm not happy with it. Don't touch it. But don't touch it. I gotta do it. Shouldn't have done that. It'll be fine. Okay. See if you don't touch it, and you do it just right. I can't show you, but you don't get to, you, the wood still shows. Okay. You don't have uh, glass gloss over top of the wood like I did on this one. Not that it matters. Shit. That's good. Okay, try it again. Yeah. Oh shit, it's really runny. Why is it so runny? Cures in seven days? Dries in eight hours. Seven days. Days. Holy shit. I'm gonna wanna work on this thing before seven freaking days. Okay, so we'll do this at the end. Seven days. Okay. Okay. So far. Folded the cardboard over, drew a little bit of a box on it. No, I'm cutting it out. Nothing too serious. I cut through both sides, hey, so that it's even, right? Okay, the overhang on the peaks is good. You can see on the sides there, so that's a little bit in excess, eh? So, let's shorten it. This way. Oops, shit. Let's get a little bit straighter.
So, if you didn't do the door handles in the, the window beforehand, like on this one, you can do it after. Like if you want to leave the door open, maybe, hey? Eh? So that's what I'm going to do on that one. But I got to do the window. Forgot to do the window. You can still do it. I did this one here. All the windows on this one after the fact, eh? It came out pretty good. Excellent day. Mini cabin, Red River style. Almost. We gotta shingle it yet. We'll shingle it like this. Using those. Which we cut from a. One of these. Ooh, that's for the beer. those coil binder machines anyways that's what I use when I cut the cereal boxes up and I straight lines and I punch out the cereal boxes so I have a whole shitload of shingles and bricks which I might sell I mean, the typical machine is a couple hundred bucks, eh? Plus, it takes a long time to punch those out. Don't kid yourself. About as long as it takes to shingle, so there you go. Well, it takes a friggin' many. Holy smokes. Uh, what's this thing got on it? This is a little bit bigger, bigger roof. Now we'll do this one. Oh, well, here's one here. That's, that's the same size as the building that we're just doing. And this has 500, over 500 on it. Because, you know, the roof cap thingy too, which they really wouldn't have done that way, I don't think. I don't know. Shit. That's where I did it. It's done now. It'll look fine. I should have measured this. Well, no, because they all might be slightly different. So, we need seven of these. There's one. This guy is actually a different building. See, I did take two on this one. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, we need seven, we're going to shingle them all. They'll look good, they'll look good painted up, you know, because once it's dry we'll paint it up. And, jeez, this is all I use, is I use my dirty wash water to paint it up. That's what this one was painted up with. Well, the roof is black, of course, the, but the rest is just a wash. Makes it look sun-cast. I like it. That's the way wood looks when it's been in the sun. So, this one here, I think, was plastered with clay plaster. I am going to work on the big two-story building now. So... That's how high the walls are going to be, but like that, I think, I don't know, still trying, trying to decide on windows, the other cabins, eh? same size as these walls, but it'll be two-story, massive, massive, but I find the easiest way to do it is to make these and then just cut them out to what you need, eh? 
in this case I need one inch strip so you cut out a one inch strip and I'm taking out one board for the middle board and we'll glue them together after but I need more and I still have to do the little storage room cold room non-heated building so, anyways so I'm going to glue sticks for a bit glue sticks I suppose a guy could use that spray, you know, spray glue. Shh. I find this works. Okay, so, uh, it's Camelot's 200th birthday today. Oh, I should have really gone down. I should go down. Still could go down. No, I ain't gonna go down. I'm gonna go babysit my grandson and granddaughter here today instead, which will be really fun too. But anyways, so I think I hit the pause button there. I don't know if I hit the pause button or if I was just yakking into the thing again. I do that sometimes. So it's uh, Camelot's 200th birthday. Oh, where's the big square? That's the one I'm working on over there. It's Camelot's 200th birthday. Hey? So we're building forts. Fort Kamloops. It's kind of hard to find oh, plans on it, hey? Shh. There's like this one. Uh, 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 hold on. This one here. Former Fort Kamloops. Which by itself isn't kind of impressive. Uh, circle the wagons! <laughs> Anyways, so we're building the bigger one. We're at the shingling stage. So that's the, the, the trader, the big trading house. That's the back door. So I put two back doors on it just because. And then they would store stuff in this meat house and this is kind of a, a storage room, which I'm still working on. And, 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 and then these were for the workers and stuff. These were the barracks. There's a bunch of those. They had small windows because I had to carry them in. So four or six windows. And then they were built sort of Red River style. And then this is a cook shack which is why it's got two chimneys on it. I gotta paint that. He needs work yet. And then I'm gonna put a little wood wood pile thingy back there. And then this was the chief trader's house. And he had lots of windows. It was a big house. I didn't put any windows on that one side. Right or wrong, that's okay. Nobody knows. And this is where the gate's gonna go. And then there's gonna be another gate back there. And then I gotta make some teepees, more teepees, but smaller ones for over here. I'm gonna make them this style, but in one in the scale. Yeah, like this guy. That scale. Which is. Okay, it's off in the distance. Perspective. Cool weed, eh? I wish I had more of this. I can't remember what that was. It was some weed. Oh, they're already circling the wagons again. Yeah. They do a better job with the brakes than I do. But I put a lever on it. It's hard to freaking cut those little brass rings, so I gotta figure out a better way of cutting those brass rings. Those are uh, snaps, eh? From, you know, clothing. 
talk to me a couple more of those. Then I've got some guys. Like these guys. These guys are just cheap, cheap guys. Where's the other guys? Oh, I took them inside already. I got some other guys. And then this is going to be Hayfield. This is going to be the main road in. In through here. And then it's all fenced, eh? It's all fenced, both sides. This is Hayfield, and this is food. Food place. Food store. This is the food store. And then over here, that's all going to be corral. They had a big corral. Big corral. And then, uh, like I said, I'm going to put some teepees over that way. And then back, back gate. And just a road. More fences. But, man, that's taking a lot. Like this one here has 500 in it, hey? So that means each of these are going to be at least 450, 400. That's going to be another 500. This was, I don't know, it was a lot. This one here, I think I've got 800 on there so far. But, seven, 750, 11 times. Yeah, there's a lot. 800, something like that. I threw out a bunch of stuff, but I like this hill. It's kind of a cool hill. So I should actually put it on something. Originally, I was using this foam board shit as, for a base, hey. Which, I mean, it works. I mean, this thing is... Holy crap. Eight years old? You know, so it's been being kicked around out here for like eight years, you know, so it's, I mean, it's good stuff, but it, you know, it breaks and it peels and it warps on you sometimes, hey, when you're working with it. That's why you said it. Well, no, not that stuff. Kind of this, no, it's press board. Press board, Chip. Don't you have any freaking press board? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Here, this shit. Press board. No, it's kind of that pattern on the top. Crap all over the place. So, the shingling pile. Shingles or bricks. You can just glue them on the side of the, the foam board and shit as bricks. Hey, looks pretty good. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, cereal boxes. That's what you use, man. Uh, cereal boxes. Whoops. Oh, this shit. This came off like a writing pad or something, eh? Some people call that press board, eh? You know, this is press board. Let me pull it out for you. See, it's that shiny shit on one side. And kind of that pattern on the other side. They use it in the bottom of, you know, drawers like that, you know. Shit like that. They probably got some of this. I broke one of these. So. Yeah, this is one I broke. So that's actually paneling. I replaced it. Same sort of shit. Oh, it's all good there. Maybe that's not the one I broke. Anyways, where were we? Oh, taking those. Down here. Through a paper cutter, new edges, and eventually get a big bucket full. And then, once you get down to a bunch of them this size and you're tired of doing it, that's what I use for the roofs instead of baseball cards. Usually, I didn't have a base, uh, well, I didn't find those until after. 
So Greg got sacrificed. Planking. No, he's not. Superman. Making a dive. <laughs>